Welcome to our tutorial about what's new with mouse gestures in SOLIDWORKS 2012. We're now able to assign the OK, Cancel, and Escape commands to a mouse gesture. So as you can imagine, this saves you a lot of clicking. We're also able to assign macros to mouse gestures. And we can also create shortcuts for the commands Cancel and Escape. Let's open the Customize window. Click on the Mouse Gestures tab. In the Search For field, let's type OK. Let's assign it the mouse left position in the Sketch environment. Now let me search for the Cancel command. Let's assign it the mouse right position in the Sketch environment. Let's search for the Escape command now. Here we go. Let's assign it the bottom position in the sketch environment once again and click OK. And let's create a new sketch. Right click, New Sketch. Activate the Rectangle tool. And I will place a rectangle about here. So to get to the mouse gesture wheel, you need to right click and move the mouse simultaneously. Here's the wheel. So as we just set up, we've got OK on the left, Cancel on the right, and Escape on the bottom. I'm going to mouse down a little bit to escape. Let's exit the sketch without saving our changes. Discard changes and exit. Now before assigning a macro to a mouse gesture, we're going to need to create a macro. Go to Tools, Macro, Record. The Macro toolbar opens. We are currently recording the macro. Let's create a new part document. Right-click on the top plane. Insert sketch. Now let's activate the circle command. Place it about here, exit the sketch, and let's activate the extruded boss command. Let's accept the default values. So all of that we recorded. Let's go back to Tools, Macros, and Stop. The Save as Macros dialog window opens. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2012, you don't have to put your macro in a macros directory. You can save it anywhere you like. Let's call it 06. And let's click Save. Now I'm going to close this document without saving it. And let's close the Macro Toolbar too. I want to go to the Customize Options dialog window. But without an open document, I can't get there. So let's create a new document. OK. And now let's open the Options Customize window. Mouse Gestures tab. And let's select Macros from the drop-down menu. First thing to do is create a new Macro button. I'll select the Macro I just created. And click OK. OK again. Now in the Part environment, I'll assign the bottom position to the Macro I just created. Let's click OK and see how it works. Let's right click and wiggle the mouse a little. Here's the wheel, and here is our macro in the bottom position. SOLIDWORKS executes the macro we just created. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go back to the Customize dialog window. We'll go to the Keyboard tab. And let's search for Cancel in the Search For field. Here we can assign a shortcut for Cancel. as well as for Escape. Let's cancel out of this dialog window. And this concludes our tutorial about what's new with mouse gestures in SOLIDWORKS 2012.